Okay. That actually gives me an idea for a strategy. Wait, hang on. It was Old King Cole, that not so very merry soul. I think that's what I was gonna say. Something, something on those lines. So yeah, there's a TNT right here. As soon as I hit that, the timer's gonna go off. I'm actually gonna let that one live for now. Just because I can spread off a little bit faster this way. And then I can exit a different way. So here we go. That's gonna be our first TNT that we get. This place can be quite confusing. So you wanna make sure that when you're tackling this area, you do it in the best way possible, or you are just going to be frick out of luck. And trust me, that ain't fun. Yeehaw! Oh! Bada boom. Alright, so they give us about a little over three minutes. It's really not that bad. We have 13 more to go. I think there's like two in here. Oh, nope. I guess there's only one. No, I hear two. I hear two. I remember there being two in this room. Bada boom. Okay, that's 11. Now I think... I think this takes you on up. It's the only one in this room. Oh, come on. Lost it. Thank you. All right, ten more to go. And one of them's at the beginning, so it's practically nine. Since I know how to get back to the beginning. This music's awesome, by the way. I love this song. Bam! Oh, fudge! Fudge, my dude. Hang on. Didn't get the... Herb him the way I wanted to. I was gonna eggify him. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and knock you out first, and then hit this up. Very nice. I don't think I need the health actually, so I'm gonna ignore it for now. Nice. All right, head off here to the right. There should be one off this way. Yeah, here we go. I'm actually doing fairly well, to be fair. Wait, is this the beginning? This actually might have been the beginning. I'm sorry. I guess I got the beginning one. That's okay, though. Got it out of the way. Mm, sure, why not? YOLO, am I right? Because kids totally still say that. I am more or less say unironically. Hey, hang on here. Bada boom. We got three left. And I don't think any of them are going to be in here. Let's turn around. I know there's supposed to be one down below, like really down below. Here we go, we got, hang on, two, one, piece of garbage. Get out of here. Go ahead and grab that health. Might be one down here. There we go, yep, yep, we are done. Bada boom. Much obliged to you, partners. How obliged? Are we talking a reward here? Well, all I got is this funny shaped nugget. I reckon you just can have it. All right, nice. Ooh, that worked out very well. We had like a whole minute and some to spare. Like, what, 64 seconds or so? I heard it like 64 or so. It's somewhere around that ballpark. But yeah, got that done out of the way. I gotta say, my shooting was pretty sharp for a guy who didn't really shoot very much. But that's besides the point. Alright, so now we would head off here to the right. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, there was a privilege of being older. Like, when you were a kid, that section was a pain in the ass. I was only five. And I'm like, oh, where is it? My memory was just developing crap like that. But now it's like, ah, I got this. No problemo. All right. Let's go ahead and grab that. Chicken number 17. Good to go. Might check my totals here in a sec. Just to kind of gather how much we have left to do. All right. So, go ahead and put Kazooie away. Let's go to our totals. All right, so we have, wait, this objective items, my bad. Those are Jinjos, view totals, here we go. So we have four more Jiggies to go, which is one is from, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mayhem Temple, so that's one. Got two, I think, from Canary Mary or something like that. Maybe it's a Cheeto page, I take that back. Got one empty honeycomb piece, one more Cheeto page, one more Jinjo, which we know where that Jinjo is. So, overall, I think we're doing a heck of a lot better than I thought we were. Like, my thoughts were like this. I believe that we were doing well. In the back of my mind, it was like, uh, how much you bet it's gonna be freaking like, you're missing, like, God knows how much in Cheeto pages and other such. But now, uh, we're doing pretty alright. Not too shabby. Let's go ahead and take your view. Thank you. Now we're gonna head on in here. Let's go. Oh boy, it's all smoggy in here. I can't breathe. 
Got some feathers. All right, let's go ahead and let out. Oh wait, over here, I need you to help me out of this frightful predicament. Who might you be? I'm Canary Mary. They used to send me down the mines to check for gas. If I died, they know it, I was, it wasn't safe. Nice, I can think of more pleasant jobs. They just left me in here. I don't think I'll last much longer. Don't worry, I'll get Kazooie here to smash the cage open. If I must. Bam! Woohoo! I'm free! It's moments like this that I that make adventuring worthwhile. But she hasn't even got a jiggy. Yeah, for now. That would have been way too easy to get a jiggy. They're not gonna give one up that easily in this game. We gotta work for it. Alright. Thanks for telling us the name of the level game. Appreciate it. We're in Glitter Gulch Mine. Heck yeah. Still enjoying the view. Let's see. I'm just checking something real quick. Alright. We've been recording nearly about an hour, so. This will probably be like a three part. Ep or not three part, but. Um, a three part level where I just split up into three videos. I'm just trying to figure out a good way of giving you guys content without it being like, here's 30, 40 minutes. Here's an hour of my day. Like, I'm, I'm so tired of me doing that. Like, I know I do that. I hate doing it, but I do it anyway. It's just because it's convenient for me in certain areas. But we try to be a bit more relaxed and more of choice. I'm going to give myself more choice, basically. Like, these videos about average size. That way it's good for y'all. All right, so now that we're done with that, I guess we might as well get the Canary Mary stuff out of the way. Um... Before I do though, I believe there was one more, there was one more room we were supposed to go in that was full of that gas stuff that would just about kill anyone. Take care of that real quick. So yeah, we have the one, we have, we have a Jiggy up there that we can't get until we get the jump shoes. We have the one with Delberta and we can do that in a backtracking episode. We have two more Jiggies to get here then. And one of those Jiggies are going to be something. <laughs> yeah, yes. It's going to be something. Alright, so now we got three. We got all the empty honeycomb pieces of this level. That's good and out of the way. And I believe there might be a Jinjo in here. Oh, I'm sorry. We already got... No, I'm, I'm totally wrong about that. I don't know why I thought there was a Jinjo in here, because um, one, we already got it, and two, the last Jinjo is not one room that we can't get to until later. So, now it's time to do the Canary Mary Ray stuff, I suppose. Ah, one of my least favorite parts of this level. But what you gonna do? There was another part of this, um, there's another thing here that we're supposed to do, but I totally forgot where it was. So we'll have to do that here in a bit. For now, uh, we shall go inside Wombo's Wigwam. Which was probably the stupid choice, because we could have just easily, uh, what's what we're looking for here? We could have easily just went back to the beginning of this level and then head on over to Canary Mary. But for the life of me, I thought, Wombo's Wigwam, such a warm, peaceful place, why not, right? It's like right off here to the side of where we were going. Oh, well, no biggie. We probably, we probably only lost like, what, 10, 15 seconds? Y'all y'all can cover for that, right? You, you, you don't mind me wasting like 10, 15 seconds of your time? I probably, I've probably done way worse in the past, to be fair. So. Hey there, Canary Mary. Why are you still around? Oh, my wings are still a bit stiff from spending so long in that cage. How about a race to help me stretch them? On this old heart or handcraft? I'm sure it was broken when I saw it last. It was, but I fixed it and put it back on the track. You're pretty resourceful for an old bird, aren't you? I like to try. Dump aboard it if you fancy a go. Sounds like fun. What do we do? Simply tap A as fast as you can to drive the minecart. Okay, yeah, so... Or the... Whatever we call it. Not really a minecart. But... My god, do I hate this. Ready, three, two, one, go. Alright, so what we want to do... Because these are rubber band physics, by the way. So, you're going to hear a lot of tapping on my end. Rubber band physics basically mean if I get too far ahead, Canary Mary will be able to catch up. And I will lose the race. So, I want to make sure that I stay at a moderate pace right now. She's beatable if you're smart. But she's not beatable if you try too hard. So, I'm just going to let up off the gas a little bit here. See how she's not like catching up and like going past me? It's because I'm not really trying a tremendous amount. Like, if I try too hard... The game knows I'm trying too hard. Hang on. Go ahead and slow it down a bit. Slow it down a bit there, Banjo. It's all good. Name of the game is going at a decent pace. See? She'll always be right behind me as long as I don't go too fast. 
So right now I'm not even using all that much strength to actually do this race. The first one's easier than the second to be fair. So even though I'm saying this, that does not mean that this will make life easier later. There's four of these races in the game. One of them's right now. We're gonna have another one right after this. And then there's Cloud Cuckoo Land. And that's... <sighs> that's so fun. That is not fun. That is not what we call fun. But we will get to that another day. Way further in the future, thankfully. I think we beat you there, Mary. Well, I guess you can have the shiny thing I found before I got locked in that cage. Is it a Jiggy? I can't remember what it is. It's been under my wing for days. Ew. I'm not sure we want in on that case. Or one in in that case. There we go. That was a fine race. Sure was. My wings are starting to feel better. How about racing back again? Hop on that card if you think you can beat me again. Sounds good. That is Jiggy number 18. So, now this race that we're going to be doing, a bit ironic because the first race gives you a Jiggy, but the second one gives you a Cheeto page, which is less useful all right so this one you want to tap the button a little bit more because canary mary is a lot faster so let's go ahead and just kind of keep a moderate pace with her nothing too fast but just enough to kind of give myself some open room i can't believe how stupid i was when it came to this race years ago because like i always told myself tap the button as fast as you can and go fast at it and then it would just kill me as a kid and I actually had to get my dad to do it. My dad's a pretty strong dude, so he went ahead and tried tapping the A button pretty uh, fast as much as he could, and it worked. But once again, now that I've learned that this game has rubber band physics, it's like, no, 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 no. Don't stress yourself out too much. See how Canary Mary is already passing me up? So like, we're nearing the end of this race soon. So now's like a time to actually speed up. Hang on, not yet. We're getting there. See how these rubber band physics are kicking in? I kind of slowed down a little bit, and now she's getting ahead of me. So wait for it. Three, two, one. Now's when you want to speed up. What? I had to get ahead of me. That's bullfrick. They got kicked that in last second. All right, fair enough. Bound to lose her eventually. Nope, I don't need to talk to you again. All right, we're gonna try that race one more time. All right, so this time I've kind of just went full throttle when it comes to pressing the A button. And luckily, it's working. I don't know how much longer it's going to work because she is actually riding up on me pretty freaking quickly. So, not sure if this will actually work forever. But I'm just kind of going for it because I said frick it. I've got the energy. With how my job has been as of late and how heavy demanding it is, I actually have gotten a heck of a lot stronger. So... Button pressing like this doesn't actually bother me as much anymore. Bada boom. Never mind, with that one you can actually go full throttle if you desire. If you have the ability and strength to do so, go for it. As long as you do it well. Cloud Cuckoo Land's gonna be a heck of a lot different of a story. That's two out of two for us, Mary. Perhaps you'd like this piece of paper as a prize. It's been wedged in my... No! I don't want to know where it's been. <laughs> yeah, me either, Kazooie. I think I've spent quite enough time in this gloomy old mine. I'm off to swoop and soar among the clouds. Bye-bye, friends. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Yeah, luckily we went to meet you one more time. Then no more games for you. If you were nuts and bolts, I'd want to throw my car at you. There we go. That is two Cheeto pages down the hatch. Um, maybe it was three. I don't know how many I've gathered in this level so far. Okay. So, now let's just go over here for a sec check our totals we have a total of seven out of ten jiggies all of the empty honeycomb pieces cheetah pages globos uh moves and notes we've got one jinjo and like i said two more jiggies one of the jiggies is used with the jump shoes the other one is delberta so there is one more that i'm missing and i honestly god forgot its location However, it shouldn't take me very long to find it. It's just it's just been a little while. I know exactly where it where it would be though. So just give me a sec. I will find it. Was it in here? I actually don't remember if it was in here or not. Hey, here's the room. Okay. So, um I'll show you how to get out of here that way I can show you 
where it is, because I'll feel bad if I don't actually show the location. But here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and smash that switch down. Or, I guess we're not supposed to smash, we're just supposed to just stand on it. That is going to light up a bunch of lights in the power hut basement, and that's going to lead us to a jiggy. Now, you can do that jiggy without turning on the lights, but it kind of makes things harder. Um, I actually don't remember if there's a way of keeping that light on. I don't think you're allowed to keep that light on anyways. So let's go ahead and just kind of dive down here. We're going to go for it. Um, one of the biggest helps, in my opinion, is using the golden feathers. You can also use... Go ahead and demonstrate here for you guys. Since I'm a veteran of Banjo-Tooie, I think I can handle at least this part. So what you do is you use fire eggs and get you through here. There. So you want to keep using those fire eggs. It's a waste of fire, kind of. But it also keeps you alive, so it's also not a waste of fire. <laughs> not one bit. There we go. Alright, so I might be a little close to the edge here. Just kind of guiding myself. Once again, or you could do this. I actually don't recommend that version. I remember that being a lot brighter. Weird. There, okay. Let's see. Let's get up on here. How about that? There we go. Okay. Now, I want to exit this place safe-like, but God knows that's just going to be a lot more resources to use. So technically, most people would probably kill themselves once they do this part of the mission. But, I don't know. I, I don't like dying on purpose. Usually. Like, once I die, once I die once in this game, I'll break that rule. There we go. So we're going to lead ourselves back. Ah. This is Spoopsville, man. Jeez. There we go. Yeah, I honestly gotta hate this section. It's so dark. Like, you guys are gonna see mostly, like, my border and everything else is just gonna be dark. It's gonna look like a black screen for the most part. It's funny, because I've literally got my TV brightness up pretty high, and not, like, not bright to the point where my game look bad, but just bright enough to look nice. And it's looking pretty freaking dark. There we go. Yeah, like I said, there's, I don't think there's a way of actually keeping the lights on. I think what it is is that they try to get you to memorize the path, and then that gives you an idea as to how to tackle it. But there you go. Got that done and over with without necessarily dying, which is fan freaking tastic. Now I'm going to hop on up. No, actually, I'm not going to hop on up there. There's no point hopping on up there. Hang on. Gather some gold feathers since I technically used some of that. And now we can leave. As of right now, we have Delberta to help out in uh, Mayhem Temple. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and gather some fire eggs while I'm at it, since I did use quite a few of those. More eggs. Eggs would be nice. And we got some eggs. I think there's some eggs over here. Technically, we'll probably get more eggs as we go on, but I'm just more or less being precautious with supply. Is there really no eggs up here? There's like a sign. I don't even remember that sign. I guess I like never travel up there, but nonetheless, I believe that is, we're missing two Jiggies now and one Jinjo. The one Jinjo we're getting later, the two Jiggies we're getting later. So with that being said, we are done with Glitter Gulch Mine. Once again, I can go off screen and help out Delberta from Mayhem Temple and then that's a Jiggy we could get right now. But one, just, just an FYI, backtracking will be its own episode. I'm saying this now because I've said this in the first episode of, uh, said this in the first episode of Glitter Gulch Mine. I'm saying this now in this episode, just so people who are watching get an idea. Because I don't want comments later down the line being like, you forgot this, you forgot that, you can go do that right now. It's just like, I've been playing this game since I was like five, and I've 100 percented it several times. I'm not saying it as a bragging right or anything like that. I'm saying it just to inform you that I know this game pretty well. So, just saying. Not trying to sound super serious or anything like that, but I'm just just throwing it out there. I've, I've got this. It's all good in the neighborhood. Though I have realized I get way more comments when I'm bad at games, because when I'm bad at a game, or I need help with something, I get a heck of a lot more comments because people want to help me, which I so appreciate. It, it is beyond amazing that you guys love doing that and i appreciate that but that's also kind of the thing i don't like about doing games that i know very well is that most people who like to comment because they like to help me don't really get that opportunity i forgot this note 
<laughs> that's funny. Okay, well, there we go. That's that's my mistake of the day. I totally forgot that note. Hey, however, we can get a Jinjo here. Now, let's take a guess. I'm going to go ahead and go into my Jinjos real quick because we can't get any more whites. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a guess. Go, go take a ballsy guess here. I'm going to go ahead and say it's uh, yellow. I'm going to go ahead and say this is a yellow Jinjo and my backup... My backup idea, or my backup guess, I should say, is it's going to be a black Jinjo. See if it's yellow. Come on, yellow. Is blue, which I'm okay with, because blue Jinjos are awesome. So, heck yeah. Go off, Jinjo. Be your own thing. All right, guys. So, I believe we also unlocked the next level of Banjo Tui. Yeah, we unlocked it in the last episode. Got that done and over with. So I shall see all of you guys next time on Banjo-Tooie. We'll be heading on into Witchy World. Just go ahead and activate this real quick. There we go. All right, see you all next time. Get back here. Ouch, you mother...